Introducing the Arthrix Knee FiberTac platform. Suture anchors and instrumentation developed specifically for knee surgery. Featuring five new anchor variations with unique features designed to optimize the treatment of knee pathology. With instrumentation ergonomically designed with a shorter working length, allowing surgeons to operate closer to the anatomy and aiding in a more precise drilling trajectory and anchor insertion. The double knotless knee fiber tack features two pre-converted tensionable tape loops, ideal for fixation of a modified Lemaire construct. An incision is made from approximately the lateral epicondyle to Gertie's tubercle to allow access to the iliotibial band. A one centimeter wide central strip of the IT band is released in line with the fibers of the IT band for a length of roughly eight centimeters, leaving the strip attached at its insertion at Gertie's tubercle. A suture tape fiber loop is used to whip stitch the approximal two centimeter of the harvested IT band strip and the needle is removed. Identify the anterior and posterior border of the fibular collateral ligament and make two parallel incisions. Expand the tissue plane deep to the FCL. Retrieve the whip stitch suture tape fiber loop tails and shuttle them proximally deep to the IT band, bringing the IT band graft under the fibular collateral ligament. Reflect the graft distally and prepare a bleeding bone bed. Insert the drill guide. Prepare a pilot hole using either a punch, drill, or by self-punching where appropriate. Insert the double knotless knee fiber tack through the guide until it contacts the back of the guide. Do not over impact. Remove the tab, unravel the sutures, and remove the inserter. Be careful not to inadvertently pull the tensioning strands. Place a probe inside the knotless loops and gently pull back to set the anchor. The whip stitch tails and graft are shuttled through both knotless loops. The knee is then placed in approximately 30 degrees of flexion. Pull the tensioning tail of the more proximal loop to cinch the graft down to bone. Gently reflect the IT band graft distally through the second loop. Pull the second tensioning tail to cinch down the distal loop. The excess IT band tissue can be cut one centimeter distal to the fixation or sutured to the graft for extra reinforcement. Alternatively, the tensioning tails can be passed through the fiber-stable construct and tied to augment fixation.